Hey everyone, this is my seven week pregnancy vlog. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into it. Um, seven weeks pregnant as of yesterday and I had a very long weekend and um, end of the week with making my little sister's birthday cake and traveling um, for her little birthday party that she had with the family and all that kind of stuff. And making birthday cake takes a while. Like I did one night of the baking, one night of making the icing and then um, Friday was the whole decorating process. So, um, I'll show you all a picture of that because it turned out really cute. She loved it. As far as symptoms go for the previous week, breast still slightly tender. Um, I have been getting so tired. So tired. Like crazy. Um, I did do a lot this weekend and wasn't in my own bed, so I didn't get that great of sleep, but um, last night I went to bed at 9.30 and then didn't wake up until 9.30 this morning, so that's 12 hours. That's a lot of sleep, but I mean, if my body needs it, then I'm, I'm getting it. My stomach still is a little uneasy at times. Um, I'm still really hungry, but I don't always have an appetite. It's hard for me to... Um, eat at times so that kind of that kind of stinks and hopefully that'll get a little better but you know we'll see um, I get dizzy sometimes when I stand up quickly or something like that which I've noticed a little bit and another thing that I've just started noticing this week I've kind of been putting it together since I've been pregnant but if I eat more than a couple bites of sweets something sweet then my stomach gets so upset and I'm running to the bathroom. So that kind of sucks because I love sweets and I know maybe it's a way of my body telling me, you know, you do need to eat good stuff. You don't need to eat that stuff, but I don't know. It's still kind of hard. Lower back ache. My skin has been really dry. My lips have been so chapped. So I don't know if that's maybe from the pregnancy or not, but, um, it's, it's been crazy. Oh, and um, breakouts. My skin has been breaking out a lot worse, I've noticed, this past week. So that's another thing which is very unfortunate who likes to have skin breakouts. But, um, yeah, so we've got that going on. Still feeling a little more on the emotional side. But trying to think if there's anything else. Maybe headaches here and there, which I don't know if that's related to the pregnancy or not because I always seem to get some kind of headaches. So headaches here and there, um, maybe a little bit of um, sinus pressure. I guess that's about it as far as symptoms go. And I have quite a few things just to show you real quick that I've gotten this previous week um, for the baby. Um, some things that my sister gave me that she had that she didn't use or is not using anymore. But most of the stuff is what I got from um, on the clearance rack at Target that was like tremendously marked down. So um, some stuff that, you know, I might not need to use, but I got it anyways because it was such a great deal. So you never know. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and go into that. I'll just um, show you the clearance stuff that I got at Target. I got the event bottles, um, the four ounce and the nine ounce. And I do plan on breastfeeding when I have this baby, but I want to get a Modella pump. Um, but there, I got a um, event conversion kit that you can, it says that you can use it on any pump brand. So that was on clearance too. And then also some Modella um, spare parts. I got little mittens, you know, from when they're newborns. And these are. For boys but they're the only ones they have and they are like a dollar so I went ahead and got them so got those um, a pack of little onesies they're green and white so they're really cute you know gender neutral and they are on clearance and then a two pack of the um, long sleeve side snap shirts they're Gerber um, in zero to three months and these were like a dollar seventy four so I got those and those have the cuff little sleeves, you know, so they won't scratch themselves. Um, so I guess that's about it that I got from Target on clearance, but I'll go ahead and show you what my sister gave me. As if you don't know, I have maybe mentioned it before, but my nephew is almost eight months. And 
So my sister is still fresh, you know, with all the baby stuff and all that. So some things that she gave me, uh, she gave me um, some little swaddlers that she didn't even use that she got on clearance. She clearance shops like crazy even more than I do. So I have two of those. Um, she gave me a little, this is for a boy, so if we don't use it, then we'll still keep it. It's still got the tags on it. But this is from Jim Marie. It's a little Christmas sweater, and this is three to six months, and then it has a matching little hat with it. So that's really cute. If we have a little boy who wear this around Christmas time or like Christmas picture or something like that. So she gave me that just in case. And, and she also gave me a nursing cover. It's an utter cover. Um, never even been open. She didn't breastfeed, but she got it when she was pregnant just in case. So I have that, which is really cool because I do plan on breastfeeding. And then she also gave me um, three cloth diapers. They are Fun Genius all-in-one size small. So they don't have the inserts. You can put extra inserts in it, but it's an all-in-one. Like it's ready to go like this. Um, she gave me three of those that my nephew is grown out of that I can use. And they are boy colors, but doesn't matter. Diapers that I don't have to pay for. So have three of those and that's all that she gave me for now um but i did get my purchase in that i mentioned on my last video which was of course cloth diapers um i got two 4.0 bum genius one size diapers and i got grasshopper and white and they were on a second sale at cotton babies so got those um so as of now the total number of diapers that i have bought is 17. And with the three that she's given me, 18, 19, 20. So 20 diapers so far, which is really cool. Um, I think eight of them are one size. I have, sorry, that was my phone. I have six, six maybe? Six or seven, like newborn size. And then four or five size smalls and then I have these size smalls now I guess that's right I don't know the top of my head so I still need to get quite a bit more and I have decided that I probably will do for newborn um, cost wise I will do pre folds and covers so I'm going to be start ordering those um, when I when I have like a coupon or free shipping code or whatever of that factor. But I wanna get the Green Mountain Diapers pre-folds because I hear those are just amazing. They're the best ones to get. And they don't really go on sale too often or have discount codes, anything like that. So I've been checking their um, seconds and um, gently used items pretty regularly to see if they have any on there because I don't mind buying those either. I mean, they're in them for like two months and they last for a while. So, um, that's another thing that I'm going to be starting to keep my eye on and purchasing. I guess that's about it for items that we have so far. And I guess that's all that, you know, to tell you guys for week seven. Um, we, My husband and I were talking last night. He's like, it's going by so slow. And I was like, yeah. I was like, it is. But then it also seems to be going by quick. Like, it, I'm seven weeks and one day today. But... I feel like just the other day I found out, but then again, it feels like forever ago. So I don't know if that makes sense, but seven weeks. Um, I go um, for my ultrasound tomorrow, which I'm really excited about, and we'll get to see the heartbeat and all that kind of stuff. So that's so exciting. I'll um, show you guys that next week in my eight-week vlog, but we'll go ahead and do the belly shot, and then that'll be a wrap. Okay, and my weight is at what's down a little bit from last week, but it's the same that I was at four and five weeks. So, um, here we go for the belly shot. There we go. And I ate about 30 minutes ago. I ate breakfast. But I've noticed I have, you know, it is a little bit of a pooch now that I normally don't have, so that's a little different. And then especially after I eat, like I've said, like in every video, it just, it's like huge to me. So, um, we'll go ahead and do the measurement. Get my hair out of the way.
All right, so we're at 31 and a half. And I think that's maybe what I started out on in four weeks. So 31 and a half inches on the belly for um, seven weeks pregnant. And I guess that's about it. And I will see you guys next week for eight weeks. Yay, two months. All right, bye guys.